Hello, hello, my friends. I hope that you are all doing well. So, okay, you can see me today in my beautiful pajamas. You know, these pajamas, I got it on discount. <laughs> very good, very good pajamas. And again, it really doesn't matter how I am dressed or how I, I, I am, you know. It, it really doesn't matter. What matters is the ideas. What matters is the ideas, you know. Uh, je pense, donc j'existe. I think, therefore I exist. My skin color doesn't matter. You know, uh, how I look doesn't matter. If I wear a suit, or I have a beautiful Rolex watch, or I have this, it doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter. I can be dressed like this, or I can be all naked, or I can be talking to you. What matters is what I think, what I think, how I am able to think and go dig, dig deeper and deeper uh, and, uh, and go toward the, the awakening, you know. Uh, uh, listen to others and, and go toward this. And, and today, um, I, that's a subject that I want to tell you, you know, what what's happening in France. You see, there's all several Muslim countries are very angry against Macron, you know. <laughs> uh, I think there is a Turkey and there is a Iran and they are very angry and they, because Macron said, uh, the, uh, Macron made a speech after a French, a French, uh, you know, the French teacher was beheaded uh, by some Islamist, radical Islamist, okay? So this French professor was beheaded. And then uh, there was the, Macron did this speech. I don't know what Macron said exactly in the speech. I didn't follow the news. But I want to tell you about my opinion about this. Because I think it's very important that you understand how it is. And most French people, they don't understand. In my opinion, they don't understand. My parents don't understand. Uh, most people don't understand. Uh, and Macron is, 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 in my opinion, is fake. He's, he's playing this kind of tricky game where he's pushing people against each other. He's not helping anything. He's pushing people against each other. You know. So there is nothing new in France. We always have, have this issue of integration. Ma immigration, migrants, that, that's the clash of culture. Of course, you bring, in, you bring inside France many, many migrants. Some of them come from China, some of them come from the Middle East, and everyone comes with his own identity. Everyone comes with his own culture. And what happens? All these people, the people who are not very wealthy, they end up in the ghettos. So the ghettos, you have uh, the Chinese ghettos, the Chinese district, where you have only Chinese people. Then you have Muslim ghettos, where you have only Muslim people or a majority of Muslim. And there are very few native French people like me you know, in, in these places. And this is nothing new. We have always this, this issue, you know, with les banlieues, les banlieues, the ghettos, with always these issues in France. And this is the issue that, that you have. Why do you have issues over there? There is no job. There is no good job. There is no good education. There is no good school. And uh, there are so many migrants, uh, and they all, they don't mix. They, they stick together with their family, with their relative, with their friends, and they are lost. They are lost. And this, you start to have traffic, you have to start, or start to have small mafia and drug dealers and prostitutes. So all, all this is very bad. And what is the government doing? Nothing, nothing. The government is doing nothing. And, and the government, let it be, let it be for, for, for years and years, for, for 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. They don't do anything. They bring in more migrants. They bring in more migrants and they let these people stay in, 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 these, in these ghettos where there is no job and there is no hope. And, and they have more and more and more come in, come in, come in, okay? Because of the policy, because of the policy, of the migrants' policy and, and uh, the lack of integration of these people. Because anyway, the system is like this, you know. There is no job, there is no possibility to work, okay. They say, oh, we need these migrants to work. You know, there is no job. I don't have job. People don't have jobs. So they make them come here. And it means you have more and more misery, okay. And of course, you have the clash of culture. But don't get it wrong. This is very important. Most of these people who are there, they feel French. They feel French, you know. Most of the, of the Muslim in France, they feel French. Maybe when they are in France, they will feel... Uh, but in the end, they feel French. When they go back home, people will say, Ah, oh, you are this is the French guy. Of course, they feel French, okay. Most of these people, they are not crazy. 
you don't have like crazy no they they are normal people they have normal life you know the other day I went there I go to see the fishermen here all the fishermen but they are all Arabs they are all Muslim okay the woman they will have the um, the things on the head you know the scarf on the head it's okay they show their face they just have the religious scarf on on the head doesn't matter doesn't matter you know of course if you only show the eyes that that's the big issue because it goes against our basic principle that you have to show your face you know uh, the, the man okay they will pray and so what you can pray it's okay you know as long as you follow the, the law of the republic you can pray as long as you don't pray on the street you know you can pray it doesn't matter you know we have to be open to everyone yeah? everyone has his own freedom that's that's the system um, you know most of these guys there's no issue with them I have no issue and I think most people don't have any issue they are okay you know the problem is of course in this district, there is no police, there is no job, there is no school, there is all the people, they, are, they cannot mix with other, with native French people. It's very complicated, it's very complicated. What does Macron do? Nothing. What did he do? Nothing. And then what is, then all of a sudden you get a teacher who is beaded. Then you have to, to think why this teacher got beaded. Why? Why? Because he's a non-Muslim and he's working, teaching in this in this, this district, so it's not easy for him. Uh, because he's, he's teaching in this district, and in this district you have more and more some extreme, extreme guys, you know, Salafist, uh, extreme religious people, and, and there will be more and more, like the same as in the Chinese district, you will be extreme Chinese people, that you didn't have these guys before, but now you have more and more, and they're like pro-China, and they work for the Communist Party, and it's the same in, in, the, in the Muslim district, you have the same. Because, and why you have these people? Because the government does nothing, because there is no job, because there is no police, because there is nothing, you know? And that's why. You know, in France, we have maybe 40 Salafist school, private school, that go against the law of the Republic, and the government does nothing, you know? And they just let it be, let it be, let it be. And they know at some point it's going to explode, and they don't do anything. And you know, this guy, this teacher, huh? it didn't happen just one day to the next that he was beheaded, you know? He went to the police. And what did the police do? Nothing. You know, uh, uh, the police didn't do their job. They probably told him, oh, yeah, yeah, there's, we can do nothing. Uh, you just uh, don't worry. Yes, go home. Go back home. Yeah, okay. That's what happened. You know, he, he got death threats. What can he do? When I was in China, I remember there was another uh, French guy who was a teacher in China. So, And he told me, oh, I was teaching in France. I was a teacher in some high school. And it's so difficult. I was teaching in these ghettos. And every day I'm scared. They burn my car. Or they, they threaten me me uh, I don't know what to do you know yeah okay uh, and then you know and then say oh so I went to China to be a teacher you know he uh, I'm glad I'm not in France anymore and this guy I remember he would vote he vote for the EU he vote for the migrants he vote for these kind of ghettos you know and he's very happy and he said oh yeah we need to be to welcome everyone the culture doesn't matter the world is very important you know and that's what Macron is doing Macron is doing this Exactly this. Globalization is good. We need to have one world culture. We need to have the new world order. It, the, the, the feminism is good. You need to respect everyone. So he's like pushing all this. On one side, he's pushing this, and they have been pushing it for decades, you know. And then all of a sudden, he will make a speech. And on the speech, he will blame. He will blame the Muslims, you know. He will blame the nasty people, you know. What's wrong with you, you know? What's wrong with you? So I don't know exactly, again, I don't know exactly what Mesli, what Macron said in his speech. If he said, like, oh, in France, you have to follow the law of the Republic, then I think it's good that he said this, you know? But if he said, like, oh, you cannot be a Muslim, uh, and start pushing people against each other, then this is very bad, you know? This is very bad, because it shouldn't be this way. It shouldn't be this way, you know? Uh, you can be French, a French citizen and a Muslim. You can be a French citizen and you can have, you can be any, any religion you have, you, you want, you know. You can be any race you want, you know. But it's just about what you think, what you think 
uh, your thinking and your identity, you know, but you cannot blame the people. You cannot blame someone for being Chinese and acting like a Chinese. Or you cannot blame someone for being uh, who is a migrant and come from Chechenia for acting like a Chechenian, you know. It's just this way, it's just this identity. You cannot blame the people, you know. Who, who can you blame? You can blame the system that let them come in. You can blame the system that doesn't allow them to integrate because uh, uh, of the numbers or because of the jobs or because of the school you know you can you can you can discuss all this but or you can uh, blame globalization but you cannot like just push people against each other and it seems to me that's what macron is doing you know so it's like let's push people against each other or let's push let's use france as a country to to fight some other country you know so we're going to to crush them or force them into the system i don't know I, I don't know, but I think that there is a big plan, you know, and all these guys are acting, we don't know, they are just acting like puppets, you know, like, oh, I'm going to say this, oh, you are very bad, oh, oh, no, you cannot say this, you know, oh, 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 oh no, why did you blame me, and then the people, they fall, they fall in the trap, we the people, the, the, the cattle, the sheep, we fall in the trap, and these guys are just acting, they're just acting, so pushing people against each other, pushing hate, fueling the hate, What's wrong? You know what's wrong? And I mean, we can all live together. We can all live together. I mean, okay, maybe some countries are really extreme, and they say, "No, in my country, it's really like this." No, okay, in your country, you do whatever you want. But we can also say the same about our country. We say, "No, in my country, it's like this and like this." Okay, fine. You know. Okay, I hope you're all doing well. I love you all. I love everyone. <laughs> Take care, everyone. <laughs>